Now the last thing we need to do before we start creating any of our section or plan drawings is to create some drawing groups. Now to better understand the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to cut a quick section at x equals 0, which will basically be an elevation of this wall of the structure. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on this roof area. Now, if we were to take a look at our sloping roof members for this particular model, what we're going to notice is that they're drawn still as these segmented analytical members, which is how we created those members in the STAD Pro environment to make sure our analysis was correct. But once we get over to the Steel Auto Drafter, we want to group these members together so they show up as a single member, which is basically how it's going to be constructed in the field. Now the steel auto drafter is going to automatically identify physical members for any vertical or, or vertical columns or horizontal beam members in your particular model. As we can see, we're not having um, any issues with our columns or beam members being segmented. So it won't be necessary to create drawing groups for those particular members, but any sloping members, the steel auto drafter is going to need some help to determine where the physical members are appearing. So before we generate any of our drawings, we are going to go back to our layout area and create any drawing groups that might be necessary. So let's go ahead and create a drawing group for each of these rafters uh, in our model. So basically I'm going to cut a section at each of these locations. So to cut a section in the steel auto drafter, you're going to find a member within that plane and then we're going to tell the program, instead of draw a section, we're going to say cut section. So I want to cut a section at x equals 0. So basically it's asking me, do you want to cut a section along the z direction or the x direction where that member is located? So I'm going to say cut a section at x equals 0, which is basically going to bring up the section view. Now from here, I can tell the program how I want to join the sections. And I have these different types of members I can choose from. I'm going to come here until it's, I'm going to have a portal member. So I'll go ahead and say a portal member. I'm going to select all of the analytical members that are going to make up a single physical member. I'm going to right click and say create group. In the create group for portal, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you can see my first group has been created. I'm going to repeat that process for the other side. Again, I'm going to use the portal tool. I'm going to select all of my analytical members, right click and say create group. If I close out of here and then I cut that section again, so let's go ahead and say draw section at x equals zero. I can see now that the graphical representation looks a lot more appropriate for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to complete that process for each of the roof members that have been segmented into analytical members, again using the cut section option and then using the tools over in the right hand side of this window.
Now once you are done creating your drawing groups, you are able to see the drawing groups over in the data area. To access this information, we can go and select the drawing groups icon within the ribbon toolbar and we can see each of the drawing groups we created. As we select a drawing group, it will be highlighted on screen. Now our particular model, in addition to having our sloped roof rafters, we also have a few braced frames in our model. And you can complete that same operation if you would like those to be joined into physical members versus analytical members on your elevation. That may depend upon how you're detailing your structure. But if we did that, um, our braced frames are parallel to the global X direction. So we're going to cut a section at Z. And here you can see I can do the same thing with my braces if I wanted to. Now, once you are done creating your drawing groups, you're ready to move on to creating both your plan and your section drawings and having them appear appropriately, appropriately in both of those two areas. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.